Welcome to the Whiskey Explorer. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. And if this is your first time on the channel, if you could please do us a quick favor, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave a comment down below. That way you can help grow the community here at the Whiskey Explorer. And tonight we've got a craft distillery review coming for you guys. We've got Boulder Spirits Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Right, so this is a craft distillery out of Colorado, and it's kind of an interesting backstory. So the gentleman who started the distillery is a Scotsman, and he actually um, came to Colorado with his family and followed his lifelong dream of opening a distillery. And he actually sourced a very large copper pot still for this um, venture because um, he actually wanted to make single malt as well as bourbon. And the type of still that he's using is a fourth uh, still. Um, so it's actually a thousand gallon still. So it's actually the largest in the state of Colorado. So that's kind of a calling card for the distillery. Um, so using that pot still method, you're able to get different flavors out of the bourbon and single malts. So Boulder Spirits actually offers a ton of different expressions. So they've got some that are peated uh, American single malt. They've got an American single malt. They've got a sherry finished um, bourbon as well as a regular bourbon. So they've got just a plethora of whiskey expressions and they also produce other spirits like vodkas and gins as well. So this one here is 42% alcohol by volume or 84 proof. Um, so that's sort of the first hit against it, I guess. Um, would love to see it since it's a straight bourbon whiskey. It's in competition with all of those kind of standard 90 proof bourbons or 45% ABV would love to have seen it a little bit higher than the 42%. It doesn't say anywhere on here what the age of the whiskey is, but since it is classified as a straight bourbon whiskey, we know that it has to be at least two years old. Now the distillery was actually founded in 2015. So it's hard to say what the actual age of the bourbon is. It's not disclosed anywhere. Couldn't find any information on the website. Couldn't find any additional information for other from other online whiskey blogs like the Whiskey Wash or Breaking Bourbon. So we don't know the age of this, it's undisclosed, but let's get into the review on this one. So let's take a quick look at the color in the glass before we get started here. All right, so the color in the glass there is actually like a really, really, really light kind of amber. Um, that sort of leads me to believe this is probably not much more than two years old. It's a very kind of light amber color, not even really in the kind of copper, more of a dark amber type of uh, look to that. Let's go in for a nose here. Mm, actually a little, it's a, it's a pleasant nose. It is a little crafty on the nose, so you do get that kind of youthful grain note right up front, a little bit of maltiness. Then right away it's cherries and vanilla. There is a wood note on here, but it's not like the nice sweet oak uh, wood note that I'd hope to get. It's more of like an astringent kind of dry wood. A little grassy, a little grainy, definitely youthful on the nose. Let's go in for a sip. Cheers. It's what you'd expect for 42%. Very thin. There's no real mouthfeel there. The, the flavors aren't bad though. Um, there's cherry, there's vanilla. It's a very fruit forward bourbon. Uh, they say that there's a kind of a fruitiness to the flavor imparted by the pot still. I don't find it too overly fruity, but it is, it actually is a decent palate. Um, yeah. Cherries, vanilla, this has opened up a little bit. When I first got it, it was much more craft tasting. Could taste much more of the youth. Really hard to say again what the age is. It's probably around the three to four year age, but that's a pure guess. I have no facts to back that up whatsoever. Don't know the age of this. Would love to kind of know, and I would love to see this bourbon. Two things, higher proof and longer in the barrel. Um, 
from what I understand, when the distillery first opened in 2015, they were barreling in smaller barrels, and that's sort of to get more barrel impact and sort of get an accelerated aging of the bourbon, and now they've moved to larger um, standard size casks. Um, so I'd love to see this at, you know, the six to eight year mark. It certainly shows promise in the flavor profile. It's actually very, very pleasant and very, I mean, one thing is it's very easy to drink at the 42%. There's no Kentucky hug, no harshness, no kind of ethanol. I was expecting, when I first opened this, it was a very youthful, much more grainy. I didn't really like it very much at all, but it's opened up quite nicely since then. I'm kind of past the shoulder on the bottle and now it's actually, you know, I'd kind of classify that as a good daily sipper. Now let's talk price point on this. Let's talk turkey. All right, in the States, this is gonna run you 45 to $50 on the shelf. Um, tough at that price point, I'd have to say. There's just so many bourbons out there that compete that I think kind of run circles around this one. You know, for a craft distillery, I know you always gotta pay a little bit more for craft, but here in our parts, this isn't even in the British Columbia market. My brother actually picked this up for me in Alberta, so thanks so much, James, for the hookup on this bottle. Um, and in that market, it's 75 Canadian. So kind of $80 out the door, that's a tough price point to swallow when there's just so much available at that price point. And that'll pretty much sum it up for the Boulder Spirits Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Thanks so much for joining me for this review, guys. Until next time, may your sales be full and your jams be fuller. Cheers.